What's happening guys and welcome to Fishing at Barrent's Sea. Hopefully I have um, pronounced that right. So this in fact is um, beta access um, gameplay. The game itself is scheduled um, to release early February 2018. So we're going to do the tutorial and I'm just setting up my character here, the wobbly captain. Aha! Hi captain! <laughs> so, I'll leave this up on screen guys because I've already played this, I'm just talking over the video here um, as we do this tutorial because I had um, access to this game um, yesterday, Saturday evening it was, and um, I went on to play this game for the further five hours, it grabbed me hook, line and sinker, you know, I totally love it, I really do, this is my sort of game and I expect this game to do very, very well, um, it, it's absolutely amazing. Saying that, it, it's only going to be amazing to them sort of people who actually enjoy these games, who want to be a fisherman with your very own fisherman boat, with your very own fishing boat, should I say, on the open seas, a trawler fisherman. It's it's fantastic. I've not seen anything like this before, and uh, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. So here we go. This is the boat you actually um, probably will be starting off with when the game's released. You start off small with just a little fishing boat. Look at this. I don't know what the hammer's for there. I really don't. Um, <laughs> and there is a stove in the corner. Um, I don't know if I light it here, but later on in the game when I played it, I discovered you could actually light that stove. Absolutely superb. So you can have a nice warm when it's cold. <laughs> so... We're just getting his bearings here, we're just learning how to, just learning the controls, you know, walking around the boat and things. You can actually sit in the boat and you can actually um, take control of the boat from this view. Absolutely amazing. Now, I didn't mess about with any of the graphic settings, so I've not adjusted any of the bloom and things like that. There is settings in game where you can uh, adjust the bloom and the gamma and everything, so I'm not touch that as of yet so this is the little boat you first start off with so let's just fire it up now you, what you won't see in this tutorial is later on because I went on and played it for a further five hours I went out in very very rough sea in this little boat <laughs> with this very small engine um, and it was quite hard work, I was being tossed about all over the waves in it, it was superb, it really was. Now, you can upgrade this boat, you can go back to the docks and upgrade it, there is various engines that you can put on it, masts, radar equipment, searchlights, uh, and fish docks, uh, more room to put more fish, fish in, did I mention that? Uh, and also, as you become an expert, you can buy bigger boats, employ a crew, go on to do jobs, all sorts of things, absolutely superb. So now we're going to do tutorial part four. And there's various different ways of catching fish, and this is one of them. And we're going to learn how to do it. And it, it, the game is very, very easy to learn, it really is. I was quite surprised. The controls are simple. It's not difficult. I know nothing about this sort of fishing, and um, I picked it up by going out on my own in that little boat into the ocean. I picked it up quite easily. One thing I did learn was I couldn't go out very far in this little boat because of its fuel capacity. You have to be careful you don't run out of fuel in it. It's, uh, it really is a good game. I, I really enjoyed it. So we've read all that and now we're going to attempt to do it. We're going to bring the line in. This is just one of the very one of the few ways of actually catching fish. There is um, there is different ways. We will cover that in upcoming videos um, because I'm just doing the basic tutorial just on this. So we've got to get that line in. So here we go. 
I'll leave that up on the screen so you guys can quickly read it or maybe just pause the video here. Because um, like I say, I've already done this, I'm just talking over the video here. Okay, so here we go. We've got to get us fish now, guys, and missed. <laughs> this was my very first attempt at doing this. I did get better later on in the game, but this was the very first go I had of this. And you've got to hit your mouse button at the right time, otherwise you miss the fish coming up the line, as I did there. There we go, got one. Got to make sure I get these fish and if I'm, when I'm actually playing the game because um, I've got to cover the fuel costs and everything. Don't want to go back to the docks with an empty boat. We've got to catch fish. So this is just one of the ways of catching fish. This is how you will start off in the game by going out and catching fish this way. And after this, I actually spent five hours doing this. <laughs> it was, I loved it. Okay, that's the catch summary. Now that was quite easy on a steady sea. Later on in the game, I actually went out and I, I did that on a rough sea with high waves. And um, it wasn't so easy. It was a lot more difficult with the boat bobbing up and down on the ocean. It really was. And um, I loved it. I really, really did. I'm going to love this game. So we are just covering the tutorial today because this is going to be video one. I, um, I hope to do many, many more of my, uh, my fishing career out here. Now we've got to gut the fish. Now I did find this a little bit difficult. And the reason why I need a little bit more room on my desk for my mouse my mouse has only got enough room for the position what it's in because I've got a G27 wheel next to it. I've got my thruster for me airplane games and stick on the other side. So my mouse has got limited space to move. So I did struggle with this a little bit. But um, yeah, you got the fish that way. Look at that. Amazing. I'm going to have to rearrange my desk. So my, uh, so my mouse has actually got more room um, to manoeuvre. I've only got about an inch each side of my mouse to work with. So there you go, you get the option of actually gutting the fish as well. You don't have to gut them when you're out on the sea, but you, you do get the option of gutting them. So we're going on to part 7. What I'm actually looking forward to in this game is going on and getting bigger and better boats. And exploring the ocean. As I, uh, as I expand my uh, fishing career. I hope you can join me in future videos for that. It's, uh, it's going to be amazing. Okay, so here we are. We now actually um, I've got to go out and um, sail the boat. And this was my very, very first time you're watching here. Again, I'm just talking over this video because I've, I've already done this. Um, so I just, want, I just want to show you guys um, the tutorial. And uh, hopefully get a series up and running of this game. Because I'm looking forward to getting on them big ships. Them big fishing trawlers. That's what I want to do. <laughs> but apparently in game we actually start off. We inherited this boat from our grandfather. That's how we come about with this boat. So we're going out now um, to pick up our first line. So we've got to navigate um, towards where they are. 
Now, I don't know if there's any future plans for multiplayer or or leaderboards. I think at least leaderboards against um, your friends on your friends list would be very interesting. Who who's who's the top fisherman? Who's caught the most? And or and something like that. I think that would be quite cool. I I, I don't know if that's going to be um, put into the game. Like I say, this is beta play. Um, I was lucky enough to get access to the game yesterday evening, and. Um, I didn't, uh, I didn't see anything like that as of yet. But things, obviously, with it being beta play, things are subject to change and further improvements and all sorts of things, as you would expect with uh, a beta access uh, game. Now the only thing I did struggle with here, look at it, is navigating in boat. I uh, I struggled to find my way around just by navigating in the boat um, because I couldn't see um, the compass or the map in the corner of the screen. I know you got the radar up there, but on this small boat, I struggled in the actual cabin area to um, navigate the uh, boat. In the outside view like this, it's very very easy. Um, to navigate but uh, actually inside the boat there I did uh, I found it a little bit difficult maybe as the game goes on and you get better boats it'll be a lot easier but in this in this little one this little boat <laughs> I did struggle a bit nevertheless it didn't spoil the game for me it's a good game when I uh, pick it up load it in and I'm still playing it five hours on it says a lot for the game that does and I only stopped five hours on because um, it begun it begun to get the game to get late, and I had to go to bed. <laughs> Now it also plays music, let me just say I have actually got the soundtrack turned off um, up in the top right hand corner, near the top right hand corner you can actually uh, pause and fast forward through the tracks you do get um, some nice music to listen to as you're sailing along now I've turned that down because I've had one or two copyright issues just lately with playing music in games so um, that's, that's off at the moment so here we go guys, this is the first time I actually went out in the little boat and um, picked up my first fishing line. So we've got to get this, we've got to haul it in on the right hand side of the boat. You've got to use the right hand side of the boat and I think I'm a little bit too close and we've got to hook um, the uh, the line, we've got to haul it out the water. Now in a steady ocean like this. It's um, after you know after you've had a few practice goes. It's very very easy to do, but you try and do this in a storm <laughs> in this little boat because that's what I had to do later on in the game. There we go. We've done it. So let's haul that in. Yeah, you want to try, you want to attempt that in a storm. It really really is difficult in the basic boat. Oh dear. So here we go. Do we get any better at this? How many have we caught here? Now what you didn't see is actually putting the, them lines out. We didn't do that in the tutorial. They were already out for us here. But uh, generally you would have to go out in the game and find your fishing spot with your little radar, where to put it, etc, etc. And it does say, I have noticed in game, it does say not to overfish areas. Else, um, you kill off the habitats, etc. You know of the of the fish, so you've got to be careful. It looks like there's quite a little bit in this game. It really is a fascinating game. Of course, if you like this sort of gaming, I mean, I love this stuff. I really do. Look at that. I'm getting better at this now. If you hit it on the blue, you've done very, very well. There you go, perfect. If you hit it blue like that, you get a, a perfect uh, score. And again, another perfect one. See, I'm getting good at this. This is the second time I think I actually did this. Oh, look at that, perfect. And perfect again. Catch summary.
Now today we're only covering just a small, a tiny portion of this game because there is an awful lot to it and there is an awful lot more. So, so just remember that guys, um, we're only covering just a tiny, tiny portion of the game today. So let's have another go at gutting. Again, I'm going to struggle because I've got not got much room on my desk to manoeuvre my mouse here. But didn't do too bad there, that looked quite good. Oh, got three stars, <laughs> I thought I'd done better. <laughs> So yes guys, just remember this is just a small proportion of the game you're actually um, watching today. There's an awful lot to this game, there's a lot more to come. Nearly got a full house there on that one, so I'm getting a little bit better at this gutting. I think going fast with the mouse is the way to go. Oh, I've only got two there. <laughs> Oh dear, never mind. <laughs> Let's go on to tutorial part nine. Either you know you can pause pause the uh, video, or if you can read that quickly, I'll uh, I'll leave that up for you for for a little bit. Okay, so what we've now got to do is um, sail back to one of the docks um, that we've um, discovered at this point in the game. Um, and they have put in a fast travel option, which I'm so glad they have done because uh, it's going to save you a lot of time getting from A to B, obviously. But if you don't want to use that fast travel option and you actually want to sail the boat, then you can and as you do use the fast travel option it also calculates the fuel and time as well it, it seems so I'm I'm so glad they put the fast option travel in because um, later on as I played the game I discovered that that was a very very useful tool um, to use and I suspect I don't know yet but I suspect this ocean is uh, quite big as the game goes on. You can see the dark areas on the map, as, um, you just saw the map there, you can see the dark areas on the map as ocean that uh, I haven't yet discovered. Now we are actually going back to the docks in this tutorial, it gives you a calm ocean. Don't think that the game is like this all the time because um, the ocean does change, the weather changes, the ocean changes and then waves do get big, <laughs> believe me. This is an easy day today, but we are just... Um, solely concentrating just on the tutorial here I just wanted to introduce this game to you guys uh, hopefully there'll be one or two of you out there that uh, will enjoy a game like this because it is absolutely you know it's fantastic I loved it I couldn't stop playing it and I'm looking forward to playing a lot more of it You want to sail this little boat in a storm, <laughs> it gets tossed about on the waves really bad. So this is the map, you can see all the dark areas just um, here, That um, all the dark areas on the map on the ocean is the, obviously the ocean that I've yet to explore. So we're going to have a go at the fast travel option, look at this, that's superb, it does save you a lot of time in the game, oh I can't go over land. Okay, so I, I can only go to there. So I'm not, um, I've not put the uh, the fast travel um, flags down in a good place there. But let's cancel them. And here you go. Look at this. Look at this. We're in port. Oh, look at this. Fantastic. We're in the harbour area. That fast travel option 
obviously you've got to navigate your little flags on the map you can't you can't do it so you, your boat is going over the land as um, what appears to have happened there on me but nevertheless we got here this was my first go look at that superb now you can change in game the bloom settings and the graphic settings uh, and things so uh, you probably can make that quite a lot shinier I haven't had a go at that yet but look at that superb I believe um, shortly um, when I got sent this uh, beta access um, code um, I was told there was going to be I believe a big update um, on Monday for the game so I'm looking forward to that and uh, playing it a lot more and just remember guys this is coming out um, I think early February so you've not got long to wait early February 2018 you could soon be fishing the oceans have a fishing career as a trawler man. Hi, Captain. <laughs> I'm going above this game, I really am. Now, I will put my PC specs in the video description below because I haven't got a top spec PC, guys. Um, just in case you're wondering if. Um, your PC can run this game um, go and have a look on the Steam store page it does give you the uh, minimum requirements and recommended requirements for this game but I will also I will also put my PC specs in the video description below um, just in case you know anybody's wondering if they can actually you know run this game and what my PC you can actually go and see what my PC specs are that I played this game on today. I could do with a new PC, I really could, but I just haven't got the pennies to buy one. <laughs> I wish I had. So we're slowly now chugging in <laughs> to the harbour, to the to the docks, to the local docks here to sell our fish. This was the first fish that I actually sold and I went on to come back to the harbours and uh, harbour, harbour areas and sell um, a, bit, a few more fish and I also went on after this tu tutorial as well to discover um, more harbours, more docks, um, explored the map as much as I could in this little boat and uh, upgraded the boat as well so next time in the next video um, I get up you'll probably see this boat slightly upgraded um, because I did upgrade the engine and it went a lot faster believe me it did go a lot faster <laughs> like I mentioned earlier there is upgrades available for the boat now not in all the arbor, not in all the docks are the upgrades available. Some of the docks you can only just sell the fish and bait up. You can't do the boat upgrades, so you have to uh, watch out for that. Look out for that. You can buy fuel from all the dock areas, I believe. So that's pretty cool. And also, when you when you um come into the dock area you have to watch you don't actually hit the dock area because you do damage the, you do damage your boat so you've got to be careful coming in is easy um, sailing away from the docks is a little bit more difficult because if you do smash your boat against the dock area you do pick up damage so to dock all we've got to do is come in here and get into that green area or just basically just press the uh, icon on the right hand side of the screen called where it says docks and that's it you can you go into the docking area menu there we go mission complete so now we just have to um, sell our fish now there does seem to be a bit of an economy in the game um, regarding selling fish and what fish are required 
and all that lot so you've got to learn that and everything it really is such a cool game I hope you've enjoyed this guys this is just a small little bit a small slice of the cake of this game it really really was um, of the uh, I've just running through the tutorial here um, there really is a lot more to this game I'm going to be doing future videos of this game I'm looking forward to exploring the oceans I'm looking forward um, to using the other different methods of fishing you've only just seen the one method of fishing in this video you've only seen the one small boat there are more boats available I'm going to work really hard out on the ocean now and in, and um, grow my fishing empire out here guys So there we go guys, I'm going to round it up, thanks very much for watching, if you're still here, give me a thumbs up, if you want to follow me on this particular game, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all again, real soon, fishing the barren seas, out on the ocean, aha, captain, <laughs> so I'm going to get my sea legs on now, and I'm off, catch you all later.